Deer and Company continues to struggle against a global economic slowdown as crop prices stay low and demand for machinery wanes. The maker of John Deere tractors now expects farming and construction equipment sales to slide 10 percent for the full year, compared with an earlier forecast of down 7 percent. The industrial giant also lowered its earnings outlook to $1.3 billion from $1.4 billion. In terms of the United States, um, looking at probably close to down 20 percent agricultural volumes, uh, down at least 10 percent uh, volumes in the construction business, or maybe close to 10 percent, uh, Europe should be okay, maybe flat. And then if we look at a place like Latin America, probably looking at volume declines on the order of at least 10 percent. It speaks to the ongoing downturn affecting the farming economy as the dollar is strengthened and the market for crops like corn and soybeans has weakened. The Agriculture Department expects U.S. net farm income to total almost $55 billion this year, down more than half from 2013, when corn prices climbed to record highs. Income levels are on track for a third straight year of declines, the first time since the 1970s. But the pain is being felt worldwide, with farm incomes falling in Canada, Europe, and South America as well, making farmers less inclined to purchase new tractors and other equipment. Deere expects industry sales in the U.S. and Canada to remain down as much as 20 percent, with the largest agricultural equipment sales falling even more. But it isn't just farming. Probably the incremental data point that came out of today's results is that the construction equipment business remains under pressure, and a lot of that continues to emanate from a slowdown of building activity in particularly the oil and gas patch of the United States. The results come just days after Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway disclosed it had upped its stake in the company, now the largest institutional shareholder with a position valued at nearly $2 billion. But even if the so-called Oracle of Omaha likes the stock, analysts caution it may be best to watch for signs of stabilization in earnings and guidance, factors that may not materialize until later this year or beyond. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.